Welcome to the Somme Vigil podcast series, which tells the story of the Battle of the Somme in the words of those who were there. I'm Simon Bendry, Director for UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. This series was commissioned by the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport and developed in partnership with the First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme and Chrome Radio. It was first released to accompany the Somme 100 Vigil at Westminster Abbey, held through the night of the 30th of June and into the morning of the 1st of July 2016, to mark the centenary of the Battle of the Somme. In this podcast, an army chaplain prepares the men for battle. Army chaplains accompanied the troops. Services were held close to the front line, the men standing or kneeling on the ground, sometimes in front of a makeshift altar. Julian Bickersteth was born in Yorkshire in 1885. He was the third son of the Reverend Dr Samuel Bickersteth, then Vicar of Leeds, later Canon of Canterbury Cathedral and Chaplain to the King. Educated at Rugby and Christchurch, Oxford, Bickersteth was ordained in 1910, before going out to Australia in 1912 as chaplain to Melbourne Church of England Grammar School. He returned to England in late 1915, where he joined the 56th London Division as senior chaplain. He served with them on the Somme. This is from his diary entry for Sunday the 25th of June, 1916. One short but heartfelt service was interrupted during my address by five enemy aeroplanes, which came over and dropped bombs in a neighbouring field. I wanted the men to sit on the grass for the address, but the colonel, who was standing ten yards in front, whispered to me that he could have no movement of any kind made by the men, so I proceeded with my address, the men remaining standing. It is always hard to talk to a standing congregation, and when the air is rent with the sound of exploding bombs at no very great distance, it is not easy to keep the men's attention. But I caught them for a moment at the end, and more so perhaps during the blessing, having previously explained that I, as God's minister, was about to bless them in his name and ask for his protection for them in the great endeavour. The German planes had moved off by the time we had sung God Save the King, and so the battalion was able to march off the quiet open space where the parade was held without fear of being detected. An aeroplane can never see the troops if the latter remain absolutely stationary. If they move, they can be spotted at once. Every man there knew that this might well be his last service on this earth, and although the note struck was one of joy, joy in self-sacrifice, joy in showing forth love which Christ himself showed on the cross, a joy in which we are all called upon to join with him, that love casting out fear might be ours, yet there was no mistaking the solemnity of the occasion. Julian Bickersteth died in 1962, aged 77. He was awarded the Military Cross and twice mentioned in dispatches. You have been listening to The Story of the Somme, a Chrome Radio production for the Department for Digital, Culture, Media and Sport, in partnership with UCL Institute of Education's First World War Centenary Battlefield Tours programme. The producer was Katrina Oliphant. In the next podcast, we live through the night before the men go over the top on the first day of the Battle of the Somme.